Today, I wanna to show you how you can write better using an app called Microsoft Editor. Microsoft Editor helps you with spelling and grammar, and it also offers many other refinements, like clarity and also conciseness of your writing. At the Kevin Cookie Company, we have gotten lots of customer feedback that it looks like third graders write our marketing collateral. I'm really hoping that Microsoft Editor can help with this. Editor is available in Microsoft Word, Outlook, and also as a browser extension in Edge and also Chrome. So the next time you're trolling someone online, you can make sure you do it with the correct spelling and also grammar. Microsoft Editor is Microsoft's version of Grammarly. To be able to use it, you could use the base version of spelling and grammar entirely for free. But if you want some of the more advanced refinements, you need a Microsoft 365 subscription for that. All right, let's check it out. We're going to start in Microsoft Word. I'm on point for pulling together a flyer for the Kevin Cookie Company. Like I said, many people seem to think that third graders write our marketing collateral here. And I'm hoping that editor can help change that perception. You'll notice in this document that there are lots of underlines and also squiggly lines. You probably recognize this red one here, but what about all of these others? There are a few ways that you can bring up Microsoft Editor. It's integrated directly into Microsoft Word. Up on the Home tab, on the far right-hand side, here I can click on Editor. I could also click on the Review tab, and over on the left-hand side, here too, I can also click on Editor. Within the document itself, for any one of the underlined items, I can right-click on that, and that'll bring up the Editor suggestion. Or, as yet another option, I can press the Function 7 key, F7, and that'll also launch the Editor. And that's the same as pressing on this button. So I'll press F7 and let's launch Editor. This opens up the Editor pane over on the right-hand side. And oof, look at that, my Editor score is 58%. That's pretty rough, but remember, it's the final product that counts, and I'm going to get that score up. Right down below, I also see this drop-down with the type of writing. So how formal will my writing be? Here we have formal, and that's the most strict of all of the different options. So when I have formal selected, I'll also see the most suggestions down below. Here, if I change it to casual, you'll notice that my editor score immediately increased, and also I have fewer recommendations down below. Here, I'm going to select formal. To start making improvements to my document, right up on top, I can click on the editor score. If you're wondering what the editor score is, it basically looks at all of the different issues identified in the document and it compares it to the length of the document and then it spits out a number. Here I'll click on the editor score and this allows me to go one by one through all of the different issues identified in the document. Here I'll click on back. As an alternative, instead of clicking through and going through everything one by one, here I can also jump into the specific categories. Right here at the top, I see the basic corrections. So here I have spelling and grammar, and these have been in Microsoft Word for some time. You probably recognize these. And down below is an entirely new category with Microsoft Editor called refinements. And this offers recommendations to improve the clarity, the formality, the punctuation. So let's jump into some of these to see what they recommend. Here I'll click into clarity and there's one recommendation here. Here it says saying who or what did the action would be clearer. Here I see every cookie made at the Kevin Cookie Company is crafted. Instead, I could say we make every cookie at the Kevin Cookie Company with only the finest ingredients. That would help improve the clarity. Here I'll go back. And let's jump into the resume category. When I click on this, here it says that Kevin's cookies have won numerous prestigious awards. And here it tells me that using a specific number or example can add impact. That's a good idea. Let's click on back to see what else we can do with editor. Here at the very bottom, there's another category called similarity. This will take all of the text in your document and it'll compare it against text found online. This way you'll make sure that you're not plagiarizing any content. And here it looks like it found some overlapping content. 
Here, if I click on review, I can go through and review all the text that matches text online. And here I see that this text here was lifted directly from the internet, but it looks like it comes from the kevincookiecompany.com. So I'm basically stealing from our own website. I think that's okay. Now that we've looked at the core functionality of editor, I also want to show you how you can customize what types of suggestions you receive. Up in the top left hand corner, when you click on the file menu at the very bottom, click on options. Within word options, click on proofing and this opens up all of the different proofing options. Now, most of these had been here for some time where you can configure what types of spelling and grammar suggestions you get. But right down below, there's a new option for writing style. And here now, it also includes refinements. If I click on settings, this opens up a settings pane where I can check on or off what types of refinement suggestions I want to get. So here I have grammar suggestions. If I scroll down a little bit, here too we'll see clarity suggestions, conciseness, formality, inclusiveness, basically all of these different categories. I can turn on or off all of these individual recommendations. I'm going to leave most everything checked and I'll click on OK. Microsoft Editor is also integrated directly into Microsoft Outlook. This way, when you send out emails, you look as professional as possible. Within a new message, over on the right hand side of the message tab, you'll see the option for editor. And when you click on this, here you'll see that same editor pane. And here you can go through and review all of the different suggestions. We all spend a lot of time writing on the web and you can also bring Microsoft Editor there. On the following website, I've included a link in the description down below, you can install an extension for both Chrome and Edge. Once you finish installing the extension, up in the top right hand corner, you'll see an icon for the extension. When you click on that, here you can toggle on or off what types of suggestions you want to receive. If you click on the settings gear, here you'll have even more control to choose what types of recommendations you get. Here I am now watching a YouTube video of the Kevin Cookie Company official commercial. That's right, we have an official commercial. And here one of the employees is removing cookies from the oven without wearing oven mitts. That's a major safety violation. Right down here, I could type in a comment, dude, wear oven mitts. And here you'll see that editor is making recommendations. Here, if I click on the text, here it looks like the correct spelling is without two S's. And here, dude, it looks like that may strike your reader as too informal. So instead I could say man or person, wear oven mitts. All right, well, that's how easy it is to use Microsoft Editor. It's available in over 20 languages if you want the advanced refinements. And if you just need spelling and grammar, that's available in over 80 languages. Hopefully now we can produce more professional looking collateral at the Kevin Cookie Company. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.